Hey everyone, this is definitely an interesting video. Um, it's my second vlog style. You may have seen the one earlier this year, giving you an update then. Um, it's now about halfway through the year and I'm gonna give you guys another update. Um, a lot of things have changed since about halfway through May until very recently. Uh, our family has been going through a number of very difficult times. Uh, most importantly, and at the forefront most recently, was the sudden and unexpected death of my father-in-law. Um, it's definitely been a huge shock to the family, and we're all learning what the new normal is. And so I think you all will understand that that has clearly taken up all of my time. And family is most important. You need to invest your time in your family. And so that's what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, I have been, and I'm going to continue to take some time to be there for my family, to do what needs to be done around the house and to line things up for a better future, to make sure that things are set and we can continue to just push on. So first and foremost, thank you to you guys for understanding. I'm sure some of you out there have gone through your own difficulties and you understand where I'm coming from, whether it's from a loss like we're suffering or from any other kind of difficulty. So firstly, thank you for your support and understanding. Secondly, um, not completely stopping, but you'll see a significant slow in things for a good while. Uh, but if you are looking to reach out to me and still connect, I'll still be pretty active over on the Discord. There's a link down in the description if you want to jump over there and just say hey or send some nice words. I'll definitely make sure that it's relayed to the family. And third, I just wanted to say goodbye to this room. Um, Tim Talks Audio is going to be changing rooms. A part of all of the other changes that are going on, we need to shift some things around. So our time in this room has come to an end, but it doesn't mean we can't continue on. I'm actually going to be moving to the basement in my house, and I'm sure some of you out there have your home studios in your basement. So we can go along that journey together as well if you're interested. And if you are, either leave a comment or let me know in Discord. And I'll definitely be filming some of it, giving you guys updates as things progress. So thank you for everything. If you are interested or able to or want to know ways to support the family, there's a GoFundMe that has been set up. There's a link down in the description. Also, if you're looking for a way to directly support my family, you can also use the coffee link down in the description as well. They'll be right at the top of the description. It'll be easy to find. And now the remainder of this video is dedicated to my father-in-law, Marcus, and there's no better way to explain or even begin to put any words to the impact that he's had than from his own daughter and my wife. Dad, to know you is to love you. I've heard that saying so many times before, in books, movies, songs, but never truly understood the meaning. I looked it up. It means this person is loved and endeared by anyone who knows them. That's my dad. He was a devoted husband to our mother, a dedicated father to his daughters, and a fierce protector of his family, friends, and community. Elaine and I were blessed enough to grow up and watch our dad bring the world to life around him, with our mom by his side and two little girls pedaling behind. Well, not so little anymore. A corny dad joke was never too far away. He never left the house hungry. And he always ended a compliment given to him with a thank you, thank you very much. He was the handyman and most importantly, the chef of the family. Whatever needed to be fixed, looked at, or even if you needed some advice on a project, my dad was always ready and willing to help. And if you came to visit, there was never a chance you left my dad's presence hungry. It was offensive if you didn't have more than one serving. And please don't forget to mention that it's not too salty. He loved that. One of the many ways my dad and I bonded was through food. He taught me how to cook from the very beginning. We started with eggs. We would always joke that one day we were going to have a cooking contest. We were to each cook a meal and let the family decide. 
you will always win their dad. The Jedi has not become the master, you will always win out. No one else's pancit or bulalo will ever compare, and your Thanksgiving gravy is legendary. The holidays won't be the same without you. None of the days will be the same without you. We grew up watching our dad love our mom with such fervor. The way he doted on her, took care of her wants and needs, the way he loved her. He set the bar extremely high for whomever Elaine and I would choose as partners, and we picked some grade-A, top-notch men. Dad was so proud of Tim and Seva, so proud of his sons. He set the bar even higher for what a father should be. He was the pure definition of an amazing dad. He was incredibly loving, caring, and present. He loved Elaine and I so much, and he told us and showed us every day. Whether it was through phone calls, messages, hugs, words of advice, tinkering around our homes, making sure things were properly in line, making sure we ate and had ba'on, a ride to the city, a pickup, sitting at the dance studio for his lily, finding shade under a tree while cheering Max on at soccer. Oh, the list can go on and on. Our dad was simply the best. Dad, we will forever miss every moment we have had with you. It is difficult to come to terms with the reality that we will no longer be able to have you with us. We cannot call you when we are happy, sad, worried, frustrated, angry, or just when we plainly and simply want our dad. It hurts to know that you will no longer walk in the door saying, Hi, Anak, followed with that bright smile. We won't be able to feel your embrace, hear your voice, or see your messages saying, What's for dinner, Anak? But most of all, the one we will miss the most. I love you, Anak. It's hard to tell people that my dad has passed. It's hard to explain the loss we feel because he wasn't just a regular dad. He was a cool dad. But really, he was just so much more. It was bittersweet seeing everyone come out for him. It was so overwhelming seeing how many lives he's touched. We always knew he was loved, but boys, he really loved. But we wouldn't want any less for him. Maybe Elaine and I are biased, and so be it. But he deserved the best because he gave nothing less. He gave everything and anything he had just to help someone out, to lend a hand, whether it was to one of his daughters or to a stranger on the street. My dad treated everyone with love and respect. He just wanted to make sure everyone was fed with love, laughter, and generosity. It's how my dad lived. We relished the stories we heard, the little anecdotes you all shared with us, the little memories you had with our dad. We grew up hearing stories of his life outside of our home, his coworkers, his friends. These last two days, we've put faces to names we've grown up hearing. It was bittersweet. It makes this real. Yet we yearn to hear more about our dad. This was a different side to him that we didn't get to see but yet it's difficult to hear because it seems so unfair. All the lives he's touched, the people he's helped, the wonderful husband and father he has been. How could such a great and wonderful man be taken so soon, so suddenly? Your wings were ready, but our hearts were not. Dad, when we were picking out your burial plot, we saw this thing written on a headstone. Your wings were ready, but our hearts were not. It was so relevant to the current situation, the feeling at that time, the feeling we still carry and will probably carry for a long while. We will have to find a way to somehow navigate this world without you. It seems impossibly hard. I'm sorry for your unimaginable loss. We've heard and read that countless times through words of sympathy. Unimaginable. 
Yet here we are, imagining it, living it. But we will find a way through the pain and the sorrow. Eventually, comfort and solace will start to shine through. It will come through the stories shared from those whose lives you've touched, all the people who have come out to show you and us how much they love you, just like you love them, like you loved Mom, Elaine, and I, and how I know you still do up there. Your tenacity and strength shines through when I see Elaine. Your determination and intelligence flows through Lily's veins. And your humor and kindness exudes through Max. When I see Mom, I am reminded of the absolute love and devotion that exists because I have watched you love her for 38 years. Your memory will continue to live on through your family and friends. I find myself forever talking about you. I see you everywhere I go. You will be greatly, greatly missed, and we love you so, so much. I promise you, Elaine and I will always look after Mom. We will never leave her or each other. You have two wonderful sons watching over your daughters, your grandchildren, and now your wife, and an army behind you and your family ready to help us should we need. Look at you, always the hero. Thank you, Dad. I look outside, and the sun is shining so brightly. Tim, Seva, and Andrew are manning the grill for you. So tell me one more time. What's for dinner, Dad? Anything you want. We miss and love you forever. <laughs>